18 minutes past six, Ed Miliband has been criticised for failing to address key issues like the economy when he spoke at his party's conference for the last time before next year's general election. Before the speech, uh, the Labour leader's uh, personal ratings lag behind those of David Cameron. In a moment, we'll ask if he did enough to turn things around. But first, here's how the speech played out. Just imagine what another five years of David Cameron would mean for our National Health Service friends. We are not going to let it happen. Our NHS is too precious, too important, and we will not let it happen. Friends, we built the NHS. We saved the NHS. We're going to repeal the health and social care bill, and we're going to transform our NHS for the future. That is what the next Labour government will do. And friends, we will do it together. So, brand strategist Rita Clifton is here. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Um, what do you make of Ed Miliband's brand after yesterday's speech? Well, speeches can change people's fortunes, but this wasn't one of those occasions, unfortunately. I mean, one of the challenges that Ed Miliband has got is he's just not perceived as being a leader-type person. I mean, David Cameron is perceived to be that, and at the moment, with lots of the stuff that's going on in the world, people want to see someone who's capable of taking that kind of statesman-like uh, position. And yesterday, unfortunately, if that was a job interview, I don't think he's a must-hire. Do you agree with Kevin Maguire there wasn't a fire in his belly to be deemed a, a statesman-like leader? Well, he's clearly got a lot of fire in his belly. The problem is that, you know, when you're presenting, and particularly in that rather stiff way, your passion doesn't really come across. So either he needs to be more conversational, more human, and that's one of the big challenges he's got. You know, if the Tory party is sort of you know, posh and nasty, unfortunately, at the moment, he's perceived to be rather weak and weird. Mm. And we understand band. that um, yesterday's speech was done from memory. I mean, it was almost 70 minutes long. It's yes. an extraordinary amount to have to commit to mm. memory. But also criticism this morning that he may have forgotten parts of it. Oh. Now, do you advise when people are giving presentations that they do it with notes or does it look better without? Does it look more natural and statesmanlike? Well, it can certainly look more natural without. I mean, actually, one of the reasons why David Cameron finds himself, uh, you know, as leader of the Conservative Party is because he made a great speech without notes. Now, it very much depends on the individual. Mm. It can look more persuasive or otherwise, you know, the whole feat of having to remember everything means that actually it comes across as being a little bit stiff. And there is always the danger of missing out the really big bits and the D word, the deficit word, was not mentioned. What? At the moment, people think that Labour is weak on the economy, the fact that that wasn't really tackled. They did talk about taking money from nasty people and giving it to nice people, but actually that was about the NHS and a dog whistle to call supporters at the moment. What about the role of Mrs Miliband? Can she yes. turn things around for him? Well, of course, it is becoming much more fashionable to use, if I can put it that way, your other half <laughs> to say nice things about you in a way that is, A, it's difficult for you to, and B, it's not very good for other politicians to do that either. Now, in the US, it's very, very common for your wife to speak for you. If you think about Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. I mean, she sort of humanised the rather aloof Barack Obama by saying he was untidy and had morning breath. Uh, uh, it's become a little bit more common now in the UK. I mean, Sarah Brown spoke, I think, with enormous you know, humanity uh, and also kindness about her husband. Now, Justine is a very impressive woman. She's a very successful woman. Um, and, of course, uh, people will tend to feel if he got her, then, frankly, he must be pretty impressive. <laughs> so you never know. This could round out his personality. But I'm afraid on yesterday's showing, it didn't quite do it. Well, interesting there. talking to you, Rita Clifton. Thanks very much indeed. We're going to be speaking to uh, the Labour leader, Ed Miliband, putting some of those points to him at 10 past seven this morning.